Hi everyone, it's Anthony back with another video. Hello, hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update on where I'm at with this uh, current uh, canvas or kit that I'm working on. And then I actually, the main event is a couple of unboxings. So we're gonna crank through just this quick update on this, which is from Diamond Dots and it's their reflections. It's kind of like a lotus on water and I really like it. I'm enjoying it um, so far. It's just kind of a little small size canvas. Um, you're looking at 41 by 31. Um, just something for me to do in between that large uh, diamond painting Deutschland that I did and the next large canvas that I'll be working on, which hopefully will be a custom that I ordered for a friend for Christmas that I believe is gonna probably take the majority of the rest of the year for me to complete. It is a, I think it's like a 120 by 100 or something along those lines, very, very large. So I'm looking forward to getting that in. It should be here in the next week or so. It just uh, landed in California. So it's gotta make it from California to Colorado. But anyway, I'm liking this canvas. The one thing that I have noticed, and I've mentioned it before, the glue on this is super sticky, which is a good thing, but I was used to with the Diamond Painting Deutschland and that being my first square ever, that if I misplaced something, I could fairly easily give it a little slide, a little movement, and it would kind of snap into the right place or I could kind of move it a couple piece, <laughs> places over if I really messed up. This glue is extra sticky. So once it's down, it's kind of down. You can move it a little bit, but I found that I have to kind of get the tweezers or pry them off of there and try replacing again. So it can be a little bit time consuming if I do uh, make mistakes, but other than that, it's been moving along just nice. I'm really liking the drill quality. The drills seem to be much more more consistent in size than they were with the Diamond Painting Deutschland. Not that those were super inconsistent, this just seems to be a little bit better. So um, the other thing that I forgot to mention last time I brought this up, I'm about halfway done now I'd say, I maybe nearly halfway done. So I'm hoping to have this done within the next week or so. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is I have everything kitted up into this 60 piece container set here. Um, and I went ahead and looked on the Diamond Dot website because I didn't realize that Diamond Dots does not use DMC codes. So I went ahead online and they have a conversion um, page. So you just type in their Diamond Dot code or whatever they're using and it spits out to the corresponding DMC code. I, I'm hoping that's fairly accurate. I'm gonna have to do some comparisons when I go to kit these down and see if the die lots match what the D uh, Diamond Painting Deutschland um, drills had. So I'm curious to see how that goes, but I'm moving along nicely. I'm loving the fact that there's minimal static in these drills. Everything just kind of slides around in the trays really nicely. They get um, put back into their little um, containers with the funnel really nicely. I don't have to like fuss with the funnel. So everything is just moving along really smoothly. I'm hoping to get this done in about another week, maybe less if I have more time to diamond paint. So there's that. Let's go ahead and dive into this unboxing. All right, so let's grab the box. Just had to adjust the camera just slightly. I'm not quite sure if everything will fit in frame because I don't remember the sizes of what's in here, which is kind of a hint. So this is actually a box from Diamond Art Club. Dun, 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 dun. Um, my very first order directly from them. I picked up one other canvas from them through, I think it was Joann's or maybe Michael's. Um, so I still have that yet to unbox, but it was just one that I picked up that I thought would be kind of fun as a gift at some point. I wasn't really like in love with the, um, the canvas necessarily is from an artistic standpoint, but I think it'd be fun to give away. So that one's sitting over there, but these two are the first two from Diamond Art Club that I picked out um, specifically because I was in love with the canvases themselves. And I think when I got that first one, I was kind of just snagging ones from local stores or places that I had, I was familiar with, wasn't really thinking about getting them directly from the source, but now that I, the selection is so much greater on the actual site than the few that are offered through some of those other retailers. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open. Yay! So inside we have, ooh, there's a spoiler there. <laughs> um, the first kit, which is Midnight Laundromat. 
And then I'm gonna try to quickly sneak away the other one. That way we can, that one can be a surprise. So I guess let's start with this. So Midnight Laundromat. Let me get a nice close up of that photo or that image. So this is uh, by Ivy Dolamore. And I just kind of fell in love with it. I saw it. Um, on somebody did an unboxing of it. I'm sure there's plenty of people that have done unboxings of it, but I just, I, I'm looking for artwork and images that are a little bit non-traditional in a sense for, um, diamond paintings. I'm not at the biggest fan of the kind of landscape, but landscape in kind of that, I guess the best way to describe it is like that Thomas Kincaid style where it's like cottages and meadows and plenty of flowers and, you know, a background of meadows and mountains and deer and all that stuff. I think they're cute and I understand why a lot of people like them, but it's just not my style. I want something that's maybe more um, anime, cartoony, or I want something that's more art deco or something more angular. I My style is all over the place, but I just, I've never been a fan of those images that look like, um, okay, I just walked into, you know, a Best Western Plus and then that's sitting in, in the room. Like, I've just never liked that kind of style of artwork. So no offense to those who do, but that's just my personal style. I just, I, I would prefer to go with something a little bit more strange and unique, um, and which might not be everybody else's cup of tea. So I'm so excited. This is my first time opening a Diamond Art Club canvas. So we have this, and then you get your little sticker here. I've seen a lot of people pop that sticker onto the side of the box um, so they can kind of see what they're working with because they stack them on the side, and I'm gonna probably do the same. We have our um, kit here, or um, our toolkit. So this is my first one from Diamond Art Club. So I'm gonna go through it. Not that I expect it to be any different, but here is a, a drill pen. And then we also have da -da -da, baggies. Great, those are always nice to have. A bunch of baggies, wow. And then we also have, let's see what else we've got in here. We have tweezers, sharp needle, no, needle point tweezers. Always wanna be careful with those, boom. Um, you also have two pieces of pink heart wax, which I've heard is an, a little bit nicer than the square wax, maybe. Ooh, this looks a little bit more de um, deeply colored than some of the other waxes that I've received. Then we've got a squishy, a multi-placer, and your boat, a little clear boat with the spout. So we all know it. We all love it. <laughs> um, let's get to the actual kit itself. Um, this is a... Do, do, do. There we go. Um, this is a square diamond kit, and in here we have, let's see how many colors we have. Um, don't have that on the box. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Let's see what we have in here. So, um, we've got this bag that it's in. Let's go ahead and open that up. Do what makes you sparkle. Oh my gosh! This canvas feels so cool! Oh my goodness, it feels like velvety. Oh my goodness. Wow, I just wanna like sit here and touch it. Wow, that that feels so different. Ah, interesting. Okay, so shall we? Let, let's shall, shall we? Um, not gonna be able to get the whole thing into um, into focus, I don't believe. Um, I, let me go ahead and roll this backwards for you real quick. That way we can get that to flatten out a little bit. Just gonna be very careful. Oh my gosh. I love it, I love it. I'm just gonna do that just slightly. Give it a little cut, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. It'll flatten out on its own. Um, oh wow, that was quick. Okay, so this is Midnight Laundromat. Ivy Dolamore from Diamond Art Club. This is a 56 by 74, and we have 43 colors. So every time I open up a diamond painting or unbox a diamond painting, I'm so much more impressed when I have it in person in my own hands than I see it either on other unboxings or other uh, photos, even the images on the site, it never really hits you just how much detail goes into these kits until you kind of have it in front of you 
all laid out. It's just so incredible that what um, some of these um, sellers and companies are able to do with an image and what they're able to do with that rendering. It's just so cool. I am falling in love with this craft just because every time I see a, a new painting, I'm just like, or a new image or rendering, I'm like, holy moly, like this is awesome, the, the detail. So anyway, um, what you have here is a, a girl here on um, on what seems to be like a set of washers and and assuming she's a vampire based on the teeth and based on the fact that there's actually little splotches of blood on the clothes. So I don't know what she's cleaning up or covering up, but um, she is there. I love the neon tw open 24 hours sign that you can see there on the window up top. I just, you don't see a lot of this type of artwork, or at least I haven't seen a lot in um, the most common diamond painting stores. So this just really jumped out to me when I saw it as an unboxing. I love the amount of pinks and purples in it. I just like the style and the fact that it's just a little bit more non-traditional. You know, this isn't a, you know, a pretty landscape piece that you, that most people would hang up, you know, on their way to the guest bathroom. This is still something I would hang up on the way in the guest bathroom, but I have a friend in mind that I think might really like this. I have another canvas from her that I ordered. Um, we'll see, we'll do an unboxing of it when it comes in, but um, when, I, when I show it to you, you'll kind of see that there is a style that I think she might like, and a lot of it's focused on kind of this urban vibe, kind of late night. Um, I like the color scheme here with the pinks. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the drills because we have another one to do after this. So let's not take too long, but I love the laundry basket, um, the, the carrying cart. It, everything is just great. You have the, um, you have the detergent over here. Just, I love the detail. It's awesome. I'm so happy that I stumbled upon that unboxing because Sometimes that's the only way that you find a canvas that you fall in love with because it takes a lot to scroll and scroll and scroll through images and eventually you get kind of tired of it or bored of it, or at least I do. So I, I end up skipping over um, canvases or images that I might really enjoy. So I'm glad that uh, a lot of folks do these unboxings or sneak peeks because it does give you the opportunity or it does highlight some uh, canvases and images that you might not otherwise see or think to search for with, from, a, from a particular seller. So all that being said, we're gonna talk about these drills. I don't know how many ABs are in here or not in here. I don't remember from others' unboxings, but you do get your um, midnight laundromat little printout. You've got the stickers, which can be used to kit up. And then you've also got a larger, I think this is also a sticker maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, you've got all of your codes here. And from what I remember, I think anything a hundred under 150 is considered an AB or it can be an AB. So I think we might have four here. I'll, we'll see when we do it. So there's that. Oh, I didn't even realize she's got those clips in her hair. Do those come up? Yeah, they do. Awesome. So cool. All right. So let's go ahead and get through these drills. Just like I did in my last video, I'm not going to analyze these super deeply because I am fairly new or very new to diamond painting. So it's only been a few months. So I'm just going to cruise through them so you can see what all we have. And I'm just going to call out the codes and call out some of the ones that spark my interest. 3807, one bag of those. You've got 310, everyone's favorite, three bags of those. 603, I really like that pink. 154, really like that too. 3799, which is kind of a gray color. 3835 and 602, look at those, 602s. I really like those. Set those aside. Um, let's see, these are such long strings. Um, Cool. Am I doing this right? Okay. <laughs> 758. There's only a few of those and it's kind of like a peachy color. Maybe that is part of her, it might, might be part of her eyeshadow or maybe down here, uh, maybe part of her skin tone too. Um, 3865, 605, 3860, 3861, 792, 762, 137. I really like that blue. 797, 138, which looks like it's an AB, 3830, 221, 208, 
There it is. 604. I really like that one. 211, 414, 355, 317, 415, and 356. So there's those. All right. Um, let's see here. This is a long strip, so get ready for a bunch of numbers coming at you. <laughs> it looks like we're going to start this off with some more ABs. 113. I love it. It's like a very cotton candy, slightly neon pink, but with that AB. Um, I wonder where that goes. 113 is number one, and it looks like we've got it in the hair here, a lot in the hair. Um, let's see where else it might be. And some in the skirt. Uh, that's the, the two places I'm seeing it mainly, so cool. That is really cool. 126, which is kind of like a, a dusty lavender kind of um, color in an AB. And then 210, 318, 336, 378. I like that. All right. 550, 796, two bags of 209, 820, 413, 327, 600. Woo! Look at that. That is awesome. I love that color. 38, 34, 823. We've got two bags of those. 939, two bags of those. And then one last bag of 310. So it looks like even though you do have a lot of black in here and a lot of 939 in here, it also seems like a good portion of this canvas is going to be those lavenders in kind of pale purples and dusty purples. So I think there's a fairly good mix in here. It's not a t maybe a, except for that area up there, it's not like a ton, ton of color blocking, at least not a ton of black color blocking. It looks like the majority of the black is focused on creating that um, outline. So that's that. That is Midnight Laundromat from Diamond Art Club. I am so friggin' excited to work on this. It makes me want it like, the Lotus actually has kind of a similar color scheme. Ooh, whoopsie. I got something stuck to my canvas. Okay, fixed. Um, so the, the Lotus actually has a similar color scheme as far as those pinks and the like the deep blues and blacks. So it's interesting. Maybe I'm, I gravitate towards this color scheme and that's why I picked both of them. Uh, but I just like this print or this image. I love that it's got kind of like, I don't know, it's got like a city vibe to it. It's just in a different setting than you sometimes see when you think of like a traditional diamond painting. So I know diamond paintings can run the gamut of a lot of different things, but I'd say a good majority of what I scroll through on like Diamond Art Club. Whoopsie, camera cut off. I believe it's overheating, so we may have to take a pause between between kits. But essentially, it's just different. It's a different vibe. It's not exactly what I see in every single store. I feel like this is a little bit more uncommon. And maybe it's because this isn't as popular with the majority of diamond painters that are out there, this style of artwork, but I love it. I love it so much. It's so much more my vibe. So I cannot wait to get started on this canvas. All right, I'm going to go ahead and quit while we're ahead, but we've still got some juice left in the camera. Let this charge up and we'll jump into the next kit here shortly. Bye. Boop. All right, everyone. So we are back. I think the issue might not have been the camera overheating. I think it might have been an issue with my charger because I'm plugged, my camera's plugged in as we're doing this because I forgot to charge it. So um, that's kind of where we're at. Hi, 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 everyone. So, um, all right, let's get into this next unboxing. And this next one is, da -da 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 -da. this is The Kiss by Gustav Klimt. And it is, I think, a fairly new release from Diamond Art Club. And from what I was able to see um, from an unboxing, I believe that Rachel Ray did, that this might be um, one of the few times that this, uh, this art or this image has been done in squares, maybe? Um, the, the thing that drew me to it when I was watching her unboxing is I want to be part of the summers with, Summer with the Masters. Um, so this would be a nice option. And it's also relatively small. It's a 56 by 56. 
Um, I think the full size image, this is this one is cropped. So I think the full size image is much, much bigger. So I wanted to do something for summer with the masters while also being able to do that big old um, that big old custom that's coming in. So I picked out a couple canvases that fall within that summer or old masters category so I can jump into them. So, oh, there's some like loosey gooseys in here. Interesting. Okay. So let's dive into this one. This toolkit looks different. So we have these really cool tweezers with the Diamond Art Club logo on them. You have your drill pen. We've got our little sticker here. What I ended up doing with the other kit in between this, by the way, is I decided not to put that back in the box. What I did is put the drills in a Ziploc baggie. I'll grab it. A Ziploc baggie with the name. Um, of the company, the uh, name of the kit, and the artist. I put the sticker in there, the, um, the legend in there, as well as the drills. And then I have the canvas itself hanging up in the closet in my craft room on some pants hangers vertically. So I will just kind of store them like that. And hopefully that saves on a little bit of space. I don't have to have all these boxes sitting around. I'd rather just chuck the box and just kind of keep them organized that way. Um, I have a feeling that's gonna quickly become overwhelming from a bag of drills standpoint, but we'll see how that goes. If anything, I might need to clear out my, my closet and put some more containers in there to store additional drills. We'll see how it goes. But so I'm gonna pop that in the bag. And then you also have in this toolkit, oh my gosh, I had a feeling this might be one of the updated ones because this is a fairly new release. So we've got a bunch of fun things. So we've got a bag of bags, so that's nice to have. You also have a cover minder. This is, oh, how does that work? Oh, looks like we might have an issue here. Let's see. So it looks like the cover minder, which is a very pretty heart. Look at that. It looks like the stickiness was not sticky enough. And so the stopper for the, um, for the drill tray got stuck to that and then the magnet came off. So, hmm, interesting. Maybe not the finest of cover minders. Maybe it'll stick back on there if I just give it a good press. But there's that, a little cover minder of a silver. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. Kind of a sparkly heart. It's very, it's very cute. I would probably almost just use this as a refrigerator magnet because I typically peel off my plastic paper and then cover it all in release paper and section it that way. So I really don't have use for, a use for a cover minder. Um, we also have this um, pot, which is different than the other kit with the two things of wax. That's kind of cute. Um, we have two different placers now. We have a four and a seven, and then this uh, clear glittery tray, which is different than the other one, and it actually has a little stopper, which I'll have to learn how to use. <laughs> Maybe like, I don't know, someone will have to give a little tutorial on how to use the stopper. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out eventually. <laughs> um, and then a little squishy for the pen. So there's all that from the toolkit. Very nice. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open. I am shocked by the softness of the canvases. It's so like plush. Is that, is that the right word? It's plush. Oh, I just want to like touch it. <laughs> so, okay. So let's see, we've got our drills and once again, here's your photo. You've got your stickers that can be used for kitting up. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Maybe, we'll see. I kind of like having my legend sitting off to the side because I've been taping off all of my canvases with washi tape. I didn't do it with the, um, with the diamond dots one because the glue didn't come out very far. So I, I didn't find myself getting my like arm or, or clothing stuck to it. So I left that one alone, but some other ones, they kind of run pretty far over the, the actual paint uh, drill field. So I've been doing that and then placing the release paper over it. And so I cover up the, the legends on either side. So this has been very helpful. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these or not, we'll see. Um, and then just kind of a guide slash thank you. 
And let's take a look. Ooh, we, this color scheme is different. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, this is this is smaller than I thought it would be. This is good. I want so essentially I want to work on that custom and then have something to do for summer with the masters. So this is perfect. Oh, sorry, I stepped on the camera. Um, I have a couple others that fall within to that old master cate masters category that are on their way. So I'll be able to kind of, I think I'm gonna maybe even do like a poll or something to see which ones uh, everyone wants to see, but this is my one from Diamond Art Club. Let me go ahead and roll it the opposite direction for you quickly. Um, just be very gentle. This I, Every time I see people do this, um, I kind of like, ooh, ooh, be careful, be careful. But uh, I think these Diamond Art Club canvases are pretty resilient um, poured glue, so you don't really have to worry too much about manhandling them, I suppose. I don't know. I just like to be careful, so. There you go. This is gorgeous. I love this. Um, so I've seen this in on other shops in its full size, and I definitely liked it. But um, I was concerned because uh, they just seemed pretty big. And now I don't mind big canvases, but if I'm going to do a really big one, it's going to be something I absolutely like am loving and I won't mind staring at for months at a time. And that's usually going to be probably a space themed canvas because that is my favorite uh, type of uh, my favorite images, favorite artwork. So this is a little bit more like kind of classic. And I think I'm going to, once I do finish it, give it to a friend that I think will really love it. But anyway, square drill, 46 colors. This is a 56 by 56. So let's take a look at the drills here. I don't remember what's A, B, and what's not. And honestly, I think I might have missed an A, B in that last kit. So once again, I am still new to this. I'm still learning. I appreciate everyone having some patience. And I welcome tips, tricks, and suggestions for better recording because I do want to get better at this. Um, yeah, let's just start with... We're just going to start with what I believe is all the A, Bs. So let's start there. We lost the camera again. I think it is temperature. But we're gonna crank through this really quickly. We might, I might have to come back later. To be honest, if I if I can manage, I'll get through these. Oh, one last thing in the toolkit. I forgot washi tape. You get a little roll of washi tape, which is kind of cool. All right. So four colors we have for you today. Oh my goodness, these are so many. Okay. So we have 107, which is like a super bright red AB. I'm assuming that's gonna go here in these flowers or these patterns here. 137, I think once again, is just gonna be that, that kind of highlight blue. 912, 947, 443, 780. I like that kind of brown. 310, you've got three bags. I'm always surprised by how many bags of 310s there are, and I'm like, it doesn't look like there's that many. 728, two bags of those, which makes sense. I really like that kind of mustardy color. 106, which is kind of like a beige AB. I'm assuming that's going to be highlighting maybe some skin tone or maybe here in this detail. 738, three bags of those. I like that. I just love like the odd colors, the colors that you don't see very often. You don't see that kind of like, I don't know what that would be, kind of like a butternut squash, I guess. 976, three of those. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, the camera just refused to cooperate. So I switched over to my phone and you know what? I kind of like the look of the, I mean, I'm gonna have to adjust the angle. This is just kind of thrown together, but I kind of like the look of this better. So we may be transferring to the phone permanently. We'll see. Um, but continuing on, I'm not exactly sure where we may have, may have or may have not left off, but um, I'm just going through this second section of uh, of drills here. We have 376, 402, 301, just a teensy amount of those. Interesting. 817, 3608, 718. I really like that one. 605, 3843, 890, 3835, 3727, 820. I feel like I'm at bingo or something. <laughs> 8, 8, 820, 818, 699. That's a really nice. 796, 913. That's a fun color. I believe that'll probably go in those leaves as well. 3607 and 36 or 
3607 and 316. One last row or one last sheath, I guess, of them. So bear with me. We're getting there. And for any of those people that aren't a huge fan of people running through all the colors, let me know. I just figure someone might be interested in knowing what you're going to have in that kit. 436, 945, 130. That's the last AB, and that's a nice yellow. 702, 700, 745, 3371, 898. 3787, 644, 3826, two bags of those. 938, 400, I really like that. Um, 3864, 640, 841, 951, two of those, and I believe that's another 780, or maybe that was just the one. So a lot of browns and kind of um, mustardy tones, kind of golden rod kind of tones. And I really like that. I think it's going to give this kind of like a luxurious feel, especially with some of those ABs mixed in. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a shot. When I first saw this image, I almost thought that the skin tones here were not done with drills. I thought this was like some sort of odd partial um, because I couldn't really, in the image on Diamond Art Club, couldn't really see the symbols very clear just from the Im image. So I initially thought that they, for some reason, had left the face and the hand and the arm here undone. But it's all there. All of the colors are there. This is a full drill. Um, Let's see, what else can I say about it? I like this toolkit that it comes with the washi tape and the cover minder, even though I don't particularly have a use for cover minders at this stage. Um, and I do like that the, uh, the drill tray comes with a stopper. I just have to figure out how to use said stopper. Maybe it's supposed to just slide in like that, but that's quite, that's, that's really stopping. I mean, it's, you gotta really kind of cram it in there, so. We'll see. Um, I have kind of found what I want in my, what I like in my accessories. One thing I really wish um, companies would do is give you the option to take the kit or leave the kit. I know that Uniquely Yours Down Under does that um, because I may have an unboxing coming soon, um, but I know that they do that and I really like that. Even even if it take if it doesn't you know lower the cost or reduce you know reduce the price you just have the option i think in the long run that might save on plastic that might save on you know all of this stuff because to be honest this at this point i've been chucking these don't hate me i save these tips because i have been using these but i have so many between the accessory kits that i've been buying that come with like six or eight of these who needs that many and then each one comes with tweezers. I have like eight sets of tweezers now. Um, I have a bajillion squishies. I don't multi-place yet. And I bought some everlasting tips. So even if I do, I, I don't need these. Um, I don't really see a use for the wax pot, the plastic here. So while all of this is cute and it is an upgrade from the previous toolkit, I would still love to have the option of saying, save the materials, save the plastic, give it to somebody who maybe this is their first kit or they need a replacement because they broke a, a pen or they need an extra pen or they broke a multi-placer. I honestly will probably be tossing this out, tossing these out, getting rid of these. Um, this washi tape's fine. Maybe keeping this, I have plenty of boats. Keeping this just for decoration, but I don't use cover minders. I don't use any of these. So I don't know. I like it. And I appreciate the fact that they take the time to include some of those things to keep those that are new or or want to have extras as backups. Keep them well stocked with these things. They don't have to include that stuff, but they do. I just think that it would be nice to have a little button maybe at during checkout or at the bottom that says, you know, stars, you know, Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk for those that are um, not new to diamond painting and have an excellent, um, you know, accessory kit already in hand. Go ahead and hit this button and pass those on to the next customer or someone that needs them or something like, I don't know. I don't know, but I think there should be an option because all of this um, is really, I'm going to keep the tweezers because there's so many uses for these and they're metal. Um, but, and I'll keep the wax and the washi tape. I'll absolutely use that. But the rest of this stuff... 
I could take it or leave it. So nothing bad. I think this is awesome that they do provide it. I just, I think it would be cool to have the option to uh, pass that along to someone else or, you know, save the company from having to churn out as much plastic pieces. So that's that. Let me know if you have any questions about either of these canvases. Oh, whoops. I lied. One more thing. <laughs> I totally forgot. Let me crack this open. We have... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We have wrapped up very nicely is the Diamond Art Club at Me Time Seek Help and Samfire Scented Candle. No idea what Samfire is, um, but it looked really cool. It seemed like it was like a limited edition product, and I am a sucker for these kind of like fun things that aren't normally what a company would make that are limited edition. So anytime a company that um, doesn't normally do a candle makes a candle, I'll pick that up. Or like um, some of my favorite skincare brands will come out with like a fragrance randomly. And I'm, I was, I'll snag that if it seems like a scent profile that I'll like or a candle that I'll like. Um, for instance, one of the hair care brands that I use called Pattern. Um, it's uh, hair care for those with textured hair. Um, and it, they make a candle that I love. So it's kind of weird that you get a candle from your hair care brand. Kind of weird that you get a candle from your diamond painting company. But here we are. Um, I will have to do a review of it and light it next time I uh, do another unboxing or something so you know what it smells like. So there's me time from Diamond Art Club. Fun stuff. I love this craft. I love this group and being part of this community. Let me know if you have any questions or need clarification on anything. Hopefully you'll get to see this again during the summer with the Masters um, event. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and have an excellent rest of your week. Bye-bye.